Hey guys, this is Archie with Reef Bazaar and uh, just wanted to make a quick video of some upgrade that I'm doing. So let's just see. This is my water box right now. You can see it is, it has a hydros on it. It has the apex, yada yada yada, the full nine yards. And we have the, this is a simplicity uh, DC, I think, 150 or 220 something like that skimmer uh, I've been using it for about two years now give or take and this is the uh, clear um, filter sock replacement uh, seems to be doing really well in my tank in my opinion haven't had to uh, do too much with it it's pretty much takes care of itself each roll lasts me about uh, two and a half to three months which is freaking awesome not having to replace filter socks on a weekly basis and uh, definitely a lot less algae in the tank um, on the glass to clean that's for sure but anyway uh, <clears throat> so today I'll be replacing the skimmer uh, I mean it is working perfectly fine but you know uh, why not getting kind of bored of it and just want to see if there's something else it can do better so we got this bad boy in mail it's Octo Essence 130 so I have not opened this yet i have never ever opened one of these before so i have no idea what to expect but um i'll make a video as we go along and uh we'll find out together so let's see so here is the box opened it comes with an instruction manual and a small pamphlet saying to contact coral view in case there are any issues but uh let's see Okay, here's the body, not bad, pretty small, here's the collection cup, okay, and let's see what else we got, ooh, nice, this is to adjust the water level, <clears throat> that's for the air intake on the pump, Okay, that's a bubble plate. That's the air tube, I would assume. This is the drain tube, I would imagine. And here, obviously, is a pump. It's the octa pump. And there you go, AQ1800. Cool, let's uh, put this together and uh, see what it looks like. So just wanted to quickly show how to put it together. So it seems like there's a screw over here on the bottom plate and the pump is just going to slide in over there. One thing I absolutely love right off the bat is all these uh, rubber feet. So some of you might have heard uh, some sort of a humming sound from your skimmers coming and that's basically with the pump, it's uh, vibrating in your sump creating that humming sound. So these feet should definitely help a lot in uh, reducing that humming sound or any vibrations really. So, all right, we'll put it together. All right, seems like I was a little wrong. It's not the screw that uh, makes it come out. The screw is just to hold this piece in place that the pump is going to go on to. The whole thing seems to be held together by these clips which is quite ingenious. You don't have to worry about screwing and unscrewing stuff. You just open these clips, the thing comes apart. So for uh, regular ongoing maintenance, it's going to be a breeze to uh, take it out and clean it completely. They also have this nice uh, slot over here for the pump fire to come through, which is really neat. I like the location where it's in, so it's gonna come out the bottom, not through the side, like in a lot of the other skimmers. Okay, continuing on. All right, so we have the pump in the body, and actually the pump itself comes with uh, these nice rubber feet as well. They are already attached, so you basically have double protection from uh, the whole vibration sound. You have the rubber feet on the body itself, and you have the rubber feet on the pump. Pretty neat. And putting this together was, again, very easy because of these clips. I just had to push the body down, uh, push it down slightly with my hand, and these clips just... Uh, <clears throat> went on top of the plastic, so super, super simple. Alrighty. Well, 
trying to put this together, I just realized we forgot to put the bubble plate on, so obviously I don't like to read the manuals, uh, just like to dive in, so <laughs> we have to undo this, but fortunately, super easy, no darn screws to remove, just open the clips, push this bad boy on top, and that should do it. I don't know if it's supposed to just go in or what. Yep. Okay. All right. So I did actually have to uh, take the bubble plate out and uh, push it in really hard. So there is a small rubber gasket on the pump itself, and the bubble plate is supposed to go underneath it just to create a nice uh, tight seal. So all that is done. Oops, now we grab the Venturi. Stick that on the pump itself. Okay. Oh, this thing's covered in a little bit of dog fur. You can thank my baby for that. Right, Alu? Oh, she's sleeping. Anyway, so we take this, stick it in there. Let's go. Oh, it's dog fur. That's fine. We'll live. And the other end just goes on top in the body right here. I'm going to put the camera down and get this done because I need both hands for this. So I will resume in a second. All right. That's done. Wasn't too hard. Just needed two hands to uh, get a good grip on it. That's all. But uh, pretty neat. Pretty uh, small. I don't see any silencer, but I'm assuming that this here itself acts as a silencer, so I'm assuming it gets the air from uh, underneath right here and gets pulled in through this hose down. So that's all set. This I would assume... So again, I have not read the directions. I am doing all this just by looking at the pieces and guessing where they would go. And it's pretty straightforward. Again, I think I need two hands for this, so I will resume in a second. All right, all set. That's in, it locks in over there. It's all nice one piece, I love it. Uh, the quality is actually very nice. Uh, it doesn't feel cheap or flimsy at all, um, like the other skimmer that I have. I mean, the simplicity skimmer works great, don't get me wrong, but um, it's just one of those pieces where I feel like if I drop it, it's going to break. This thing actually feels nice and solid, which is awesome. Uh, so here is the needle control for the flow itself. So you can see this is basically controlling your, this guy right here to control how much water comes in or out. Uh, so we're obviously going to start at full open to see how it does. And now for the last piece, which is this guy. Again, feels like a nicely built piece. I like it. Looks like I'll need two hands again, but uh, this is actually nice. No screws at all. Uh, it doesn't feel hard to take out at all. Uh, just put it in, twist, and boom, done. The whole piece. That was super easy. Super, super easy. Nice, I'll take the tape off in a little bit. And this is the uh, drain hose that would actually go over here in case I was going to use it. I don't plan on it, uh, I'll just clean it manually. So, should be fine. But, um, yeah, this looks like a solid skimmer. Definitely love it. Uh, Reef Octopus has been making skimmers for a long, long time. In fact, this is probably one of the oldest companies in the market today uh, when it comes to skimmers. Uh, they make great quality products, whether it's the skimmers, whether it's the pumps, power. Uh, yeah, they, they invest a lot in the R&D process. And, I mean, you can just tell by holding the skimmer. Like, this thing is built really well. It does look a little tall, so let's hope it uh, fits in my stand. And we'll see. 
Alright guys, so the new skimmer is in place. Uh, I adjusted the water level using the little needle adjustment right here. And it's foaming at approximately at the cup line, which is where I like it to be. Um, but yeah, it was really, really simple. I didn't even have to look at the instructions. Um, pretty straightforward to me anyway. And we'll see how it does over a couple of weeks. I have no doubt it will do great based on the reviews as well as uh, Reef Octopus's reputation. I mean, these guys really put in a lot of effort in their R&D and everything. So we'll see how it does. And all tank, no filters, just blue lights. Hopefully uh, the fish and corals appreciate this new skimmer. Uh, one thing right off the bat, the skimmer is definitely a lot quieter than the Simplicity. Uh, I did have some issues with the pump in that uh, skimmer a while back. Uh, so it was resolved for another two or three months once I sent me a new pump, but it always had that humming sound. This thing is dead silent. Uh, the sound you might be hearing about the water trickling is basically the water going through the cap over here, um, not going through the clear filter. Reason is because uh, I ran out of water in my ATO, so <laughs> water level dropped really low in my return chamber. Um, so yeah, it's just uh, I had to bypass that just so there's more water in the tank. But uh, yeah, otherwise the skimmer itself is dead silent. It is awesome. And here's a quick video of the tank with no filters. That's my CSB, well one of them anyway. I have a whole bunch all over the tank. Acro is doing great. Millie's hairy as ever. my most favorite logo in the whole world another csb hiding back there my huge duncan colony and my clowns clowning around anyway hope you guys found this video uh, informational uh so we are the local distributor for reef octopus uh in colorado area which is one of the reasons why i decided to do the upgrade uh, I just want to try new products out, see uh, products that I like, uh, that I want to carry. And depending on how the skimmer does, uh, we'll find out in the next couple of weeks. We'll make a decision on uh, if this is something we want to carry and supply to local stores or no. But just based on the build quality so far uh, that I've seen, uh, the reputation, I, I'm pretty sure this will, this will do awesome. And in case you guys missed the jar video's hand, I'm just going to do a quick show over here. I have two jars in this pump. Two jar 2Ks, one over here, one over here, and then I have two Reef Octopulse 2s in the back. One over here, the other one you can't really see because I haven't cleaned the coral line, but it's over there. And these are being controlled by the Hydra's Wave Engine. This thing is freaking awesome. Uh, I only have one power cord and this thing is completely app based. So using an app, I can put them in groups for left or right pumps and program them in exactly what I want them to do. They can be in wave mode, they can be in crazy flow mode. Uh, you can control the speeds, uh, do like 1% level for all these pumps. I can go on and on. This thing is one of my most favorite things in my tank right now in terms of hardware wise. But um, yeah, that's it. If you got any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, you can message uh, me on the Reef Bazaar page. And I'll get back to you, and let's wait for the next video. See you guys.